SK, and we are starting a brand new series today. We are so excited that you are joining us. We absolutely love spending time with you. Do you know why we love spending time with you? Because you guys are incredible. Yes, you are. And maybe you can shout out what you think makes you so incredible. Maybe they're kind or they're yes. funny or they're good at sports. Yes, and that's all true. Those things make you so incredible. But do you know what the best thing about you is? That you are God's children, that He loves you and He has made you and that makes you pretty incredible. Wow, we are about to go into worship. But before we do that, let's pray. You can close your eyes. Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful Sunday that we are gathered together. We pray that you would speak to us and we would listen and we would have so much fun. Amen. Let's worship.
eyes makes my heart come alive. Suddenly brought to life when I miss you. One, two, three, jump! spending this time with you guys. You are incredible kids. Yes, and you know what makes you so incredible? Is that God made you, and God made me and you, and the whole world and everything in it. It all started in a story in the Bible, right at the beginning, in a garden. Can you imagine? Let's close our eyes. We are in a beautiful garden with big trees, and can you hear the birds? And there are animals and beautiful, colorful flowers everywhere. Wow, I can imagine. It must have looked so, so beautiful. I can't wait to hear the story. Why don't we watch the story video together? In the beginning. We live in a beautiful world. Just look at the amazing things around you. Let's go back to the beginning and see what the Bible tells us about how it all began. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. God moved over the darkness and said, Light! He called the light day, and He called the darkness night. Day one, done! Then, God made a space to separate the waters above from the waters below. He called the space sky. Day two, done! God gathered the waters together and dry ground appeared. He called the ground land and the waters seas. Then he made plants like grass, grain, and trees. Day three, done. Then God made lights in the sky. He made the sun for the day, the moon for the night, and all the stars. Day four, done. God made fish to swim in the waters and birds to fly in the sky. Have babies, he told them. Fill the world with splashing and singing. Day five, done. Next, God made animals. He made farm animals, wild animals, and animals that crawl on the ground. Just one more thing to make, God said. The most special thing of all. So in his image, God made man and woman. Have babies, he said. Take charge of the world. Care for the fish, the birds, and the animals. Day six, done. Then God looked at everything he had made. It's very good, he said. So on the seventh day he rested and made that day special. Day seven, done. Wow, what an incredible story. God made the whole world just by talking. He made everything on purpose. He made a sun to keep us nice and warm on purpose. He made the rivers and the desert on purpose. He gave the owl big eyes on purpose. He also gave the rhino a big horn on his nose on purpose. And he gave the crocodile a thick skin on purpose. Yeah, exactly. God made everything on purpose because He never makes mistakes. Can you repeat this after me? God made me on purpose. God made me on purpose. And He never makes mistakes. And He never makes mistakes. Okay, should we say it one more time all together? God, God made, made me on purpose and He never makes, makes mistakes. mistakes. Awesome. Good job, guys. Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for making this beautiful world and making everything in it. 
Thank you that you made me and that you made me on purpose and that you never make mistakes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Awesome. I hope you loved the story today and that you learned something new. Today we are learning a new memory verse for our new series and it comes from Psalm 139 verse 14. We are so excited. So let's, let's watch, watch the, the video, video together. together. Hey Sky Kids, we're going to be teaching you a brand new memory verse. We're going to do it three times. The first time, we're going to show you how to do it. The second time, you can do it after us. And the third time, we're going to do it all together. Are you ready? This is how it goes. Psalm 139 verse 14. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, that I know full well. Did you get it? Now you can try it with us. Psalm 139 verse 14. I praise you for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful that I know full well. There we go. Now let's try it all together. Psalm 139 verse 14. I praise you for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful that I know full well. Good job, guys. We hope you had fun learning this memory verse and we'll see you next time. So we are challenging you to learn it all by heart. Send us a video of you saying the words and doing the actions. Yes, we hope that you guys have the best week and we will see you next Sunday. Everybody out there, can you give me three snaps? Everybody out there, make some